Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure you could see. And after several nights, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Then you would get more and more adventurous, and you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. Finally, you would dream where you are now. I've got some premium shit. They have recliners and cocktails and your own single seat. I don't think this is first class either. Private airline of six passengers. Oh, I weigh ten buck two. With one of these buttons at the fucking light speed. R2 fix the fucking light speed. <laughs> no, obviously not. <laughs> Looking for the light speed. It looks like a spaceship in there. It's like some private jet, isn't it? Rich, rich motherfuckers. No, there's like a cushion under my ass. So, do you want to see my cushion? Nice comfort surplus. <laughs> Into autopilot. If you awaken from this illusion and you understand that black implies white, self implies other, life implies death, you can feel yourself, not as a stranger in the world, not as something here on probation, not as something that has arrived here by fluke, but you can begin to feel your own existence as absolutely fundamental. What you are basically, deep, deep down, far, far in, is simply the fabric and structure of existence itself.